Hello and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a moving forward love reading from my lovely collective. We're going to begin with my singles. This is going to apply to anybody, whether you've been single for a long time, newly single, divorced, or widowed. And then we're going to move into my lovely collective who is involved, who's lightly involved or in a relationship. All right. I'm going to leave the timestamps down below. So clear audiently, what I've been hearing from my lovely singles is to be open and receptive to listening to different types of music, different types of genres of music. Be mindful of what you're listening to. Okay, that was advice from Spirit. All right. Also, I was hearing make sure that you're listening to music that uplifts your spirit. Okay. High pitched frequencies. All right, so you could try to explore the realm of meditation music, all right? I will leave down below a great album that helped me out, all right, when I was going through some type of hardships. Not saying you're going through hardships, but when I was going through things, this album really helped me. It's an amazing meditative album, and I'll leave it down below in the description box, okay? So I was hearing, be mindful of what music you're listening to. Now, for people who are in a relationship, clear audiently, what I was hearing for you guys is being open and receptive to receiving advice from your partner or from the person that you're dealing with, okay? So we're going to dive right into my lovely singles, okay? Pull out what we have energetically, what you need to know advice-wise moving forward, all right? So... Spirit, what advice can you give to my lovely singles moving forward? Okay, moving forward. What can you give advice to my lovely singles with moving forward? All right. And we're going to get into the challenges, all right, that you will face. Wow, you guys are talking beautiful, though. Beautiful energy. advice here we go the advice you're getting from spirit when it comes to moving forward from my lovely singles is you focusing on trusting your intuition and being clear on what you tangibly want to feel what you tangibly want to manifest all right because it's saying that your focus could be on work or the community or your friends or outside influences that are not your immediate family now if you have children this is for you i'm going to say this to you if you have children we have to understand that you and your children if you guys especially if you guys live under your own roof right your immediate family is just you and your children and your partner right that's what a, a immediate family would be but because you're single it would be you and your children. That's your immediate family. Your mother, your father, your cousins, your grandparents. Those are all family, of course, but that is not your immediate family. So it's saying moving forward while being single, it's important for you to be clear on what you tangibly want to manifest. Now, if you look at this gentleman here, I'm going to put it upright so you can see. He's holding three crystals in his hands, okay? Crystals are an element of earth, okay? Something that you can feel, touch, something that you can physically materialize. So it's saying instead of being indecisive, spirit is saying be clear on what you want to manifest. And then with clarity, you can manifest a happy family, okay? So if you don't have children, again... If you're going out and celebrating too much, if you're partying too much, okay, it's saying be mindful of this, okay, because crossing energy is telling you to trust your intuition. So if there's times where you need to step aside and have some solitude, do so, because that's going to help benefit you with being clear on what you're thinking, okay. I heard music before, so like I said, you could be going out. You could be drinking, you could be celebrating, or you could be having some type of outside influences, whether that's work or your friends or your family that's not your immediate family that is influencing you, all right, or that is a huge influence on your indecision on what you want romantically, 
All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have a woman holding a heart. I see that emotionally, you could be closed off. You could emotionally not be willing to give your heart out, okay? Because you felt like, you know, in the past, you weren't given the strength that you were seeking, okay, in a relationship. I see that you don't have much courage or much bravery when it comes to approaching a romantic relationship and i see that you could be emotionally closed off okay hence the fact that i said that your focus could be more so on work it could be more so on school and studying it could be more so on going out so it's saying you know you being impatient to getting a relationship it's saying you need to do that inner work on yourself Okay, you got to get your strength back. You got to get your courage back. You got to get your self-esteem up. You got to get your self-love right. Because if you don't have that, you being impatient, it's not going to manifest. Just because you're impatient and you want something right now with instant gratification doesn't mean it's going to materialize. It means that you need to really focus on what you clearly want, decipher what you want, even write it down and petition. I have a video on my channel called the power of writing your goals so that's putting in a petition for what you want to manifest watch that video is very powerful and that would definitely help you in becoming clear on what you want to tangibly manifest okay so spirit is saying rest and rejuvenate yourself step in a place where you are resting and rejuvenating your energy okay like i said you could be overly working you could be overdoing yourself okay i see that you're definitely doing a lot better when it comes to your finances okay you could be coming out of some type of financial constraints all right so it's saying right now the important message is if you want to build your strength okay if you want to build this self-love you got to start homing into yourself okay you got to start putting that energy that work into yourself you got to start practicing this mindfulness and focusing your energy on what you want to materialize okay and that's what's going to help you okay it's also telling you to be more patient because i see that you're impatient when it comes to materializing this love but it's saying you got to put that love in yourself first okay so we got four for happy family okay so with the number four that always lets you know that you are not alone Call on to your ancestors and your spirit guides and they will help assist you. Ask and you shall receive. Hence the fact that I said writing out your goals and petitioning what you want to manifest. That is you putting in a spiritual application to what you want to materialize. Okay. And then look, the woman holding a heart, even though it came out in reverse, upright. If you look at it, this number here is number 44. So we got three fours here. Okay. So just knowing that you're not alone. All right. Any love angels? Any uh, love angels? Okay. All right, singles. So we got worth waiting for a crossing. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay, so with this impatient card here, it's letting you know that you have nothing to be impatient about that everything is happening at divine order, okay, and divine timing. We got to trust divine order and divine timing because that's going to help us stay on our path, okay, and it's also going to help us stay in healthier environments, all right? So we have crossing energy here, but for me, the way that this card is crossing, this is coming out in the reversal this is letting me know here, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So this could be somebody that you may need to release. Somebody that you felt was not revealing some truths to you or that you weren't revealing your true self to. Okay, again, like I said, when you start to rest and rejuvenate and pull back your energy and really work on yourself, you're then able to be honest and be authentic. Okay, so... If this is something that you struggled with, with opening up with somebody, because I see that romantically with this woman holding a heart in reverse, you were not emotionally open, okay? Or not emotionally open to receive love. But it's letting you know here at the bottom of the deck with free yourself, it is time to take back control of your life. So 
you could definitely be needing to free up your energy, free up your space, okay, from whatever you've dealt with in the past, all right? Not letting what you've experienced in the past influence the way that you approach love now, okay? So also I'm hearing staying optimistic about your love life, all right? Forgiving and learning came out in reverse. So to me, when cards fall on the ground and come out in reverse, that is spirit screaming. Pay close attention to this message, okay? So we got forgiving and learning. As you reveal and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Now this card came out in reverse and it hit the floor. So to me, what spirit is saying is this is a lesson that you need to really learn. You need to learn how to forgive and heal your past, release your past so that you don't keep on repeating those karmic cycles. We all went through the past issues, our past traumas, our past experiences so that we can learn from them, okay? So instead of looking at your L's as losses, look at them as lessons, okay? And learn how to apply those lessons to help benefit you and elevate you in your love life, okay? What is my lovely single here tonight? Yeah, so while I'm shuffling these cards, these cards are really easy to shuffle. I'm hearing you're not building a bridge to get over whatever hurts or whatever pain or whatever tears you cried. You're not building a bridge and getting over the situation. So now is the time for you to build a bridge and get over it because while I'm trying to shuffle and make my bridge here, it's not it's not working. And this deck here is super easy to bridge, okay? So let that apply to whoever that needed to apply to, okay? Winter, that's the first card that came out. So you could feel like somebody left you out in the cold, all right? Past energy. I'm gonna pick up on whatever comes out. All right, so I just pulled whatever came out. I'm gonna give you guys the messages from this deck and then we're going to dive in and get some more advice okay that's going to help you with moving forward all right this is stuff that you're dealing with in your frequency right now all right so with this winter card here it's letting me know that you felt like somebody left you out in the cold somebody froze you out somebody was cold-hearted to you not emotionally open or that was you okay this could have happened last year last winter this could have happened a few years ago. Let that apply in the way that it does. Or it could be happening right now. All right. You need to start refocusing your energy. I see that you're not refocusing your energy. Redirect your energy from this feeling of being left out in the cold. All right. Because I see that crossing energy is this change metamorphosis. Okay. So it's letting you know that you need to change your perspective. Change your feelings of feeling like you've been freezed out by somebody and refocus on what you can handle what you can control okay because you only give life to what you feed all right see now i see right here you felt like this person was a soulmate you held this person in a high regard you really loved them the best that you could all right but this person was a karmic this was not your soulmate you thought this person was your soulmate but they were not all right they were somebody who was here to teach you a karmic lesson, all right? And you feel like no matter how much love you put into this person, you felt like you didn't receive that energy back, okay? And you felt like this person didn't really hold anything that you did at high regard, all right? And it's showing me here that you're refusing to rise your vibration up because you're refusing to forgive this individual, all right? Now, this could be you having some type of trait that this person felt they couldn't deal with okay that turned this person off and they ended up going a different direction due to something that you revealed to them all right but it's letting you know that you need to find forgiveness not for them but for yourself and when you do forgive you rise your vibration but when you are in this energy of feeling freezed out and mourning over the situation or being hard on yourself because this situation didn't work out because you thought this was like the end all be all this was the person that you were gonna ride off into the sunset with because look this is a girl riding a horse right 
and this came out in reverse. So it's like, no, you thought you was going this direction, but the universe and your ancestors, your ascended masters, your gods and goddesses have something so much better in store for you. So it's saying, you know, trust in the guidance, trust in the guidance that you are given, all right? In dark times right now, this is the best time for you to do your inner work. You don't go through spiritual enlightenment when you're on the yoga mat, when you're meditating, okay? You go through your biggest transformations when you're going through your dark night of the soul, when you're going through your darkness, okay? When you find your inner glow, your inner light, your inner shine through hardships, okay? So you also got to remember that sometimes your direction is not in the same place. You might have a bigger mission, okay? So it's saying you need to close off these chapters, okay? Look, it's telling you a story here because these three cards here are all pink. Okay, we have forgiveness in reverse. And look, we have forgiving and learning in reverse as well in another deck. So confirmation, you need to work on this forgiveness, okay? When you work on this forgiveness, you rise your vibration because right now when you're stuck in this energy where I can't forgive this person and you're, and you're refusing to get closure from this situation, you lower your frequency. So it's saying forgive, learn, accept things for what they are okay close out those cycles all right and this is what's going to help rise your awakeness this is what's going to help you be open to the other realms of possibilities that's out there for you okay and at the bottom of the deck we have healing and when you heal yourself what does it do let's see wow it brings recognition to your divine counterpart Okay, this person that is your divine counterpart is going to see the beauty through all of your darkness. This is just her silhouette and they see the beauty in all your flaws. They are able to embrace all aspects of yourself. Okay, yeah, so it's telling you, look, big dreams. You need to start dreaming bigger. You need to start imagining and envisioning what you want to manifest because when you can visualize it in your mind, you know that you can tangibly and physically manifest it okay you can bring anything to fruition as long as you can visualize it if you can't even visualize it you can't even think it into existence how do you expect to physically manifest it right all right and once you start to dream big you're going to attract your tribe so it's letting you know you need to come to a full understanding that patience is key patience is key when you're patient you get to do what you get to reinvent yourself reinvent yourself from being in a place where you're in fear okay being in a place of the dark night of the soul it's letting you know that when you're at these places here where you're scared where you're at a place where you're working on your inner self working on your inner demons or working on that shadow aspects of yourself you got to know that that's yin and yang, okay? A tree cannot blossom and grow and stretch its branches up into the sky until it has seen the dark roots and had planted itself into that soil, okay? You have to know how to embrace all of yourself, okay? Flaws and all. You got to love yourself unconditionally, all right? Because you have to value your self-worth. You have to value your self-worth, okay? So it's letting you know that you need to destroy whatever devotion you had for this individual okay you need to get rid of it you need to just clear your energy destroy whatever you feel wasn't there for you wasn't staying for you if a person walked out of your life or if you had to walk out of somebody's life it means that person wasn't here for you that wasn't the person that you were meant to stay with okay that person met you at a certain level and now you're at a place where you need to upgrade yourself okay you need to step it up a notch and you need to start exploring the other options that are out there for you okay so spirit is letting you know that everything that you're learning you know learning your darkness learning your shadow side learning your toxic traits is only going to help better you you have to realize the problem before you find the solution so just knowing that you are not the problem that the problem is outside of you. You just have to solve that problem. Okay, find a resolution. And that's what's going to help you.
be able to attract what you want in your love life, okay? So we're going to get some naked truth here. And then we're going to dive into the tarot. Okay? And we're going to find the nectar of this reading, all right? We're going to dive right into the tarot, find the nectar, okay? Liberate yourself by being more solid, finding strength of your character, and being able to honor your flaws, all right? Finding the inner glow, the inner beacon inside of yourself in dark times, okay? It's letting you know you need to break free from anything that's making you feel restricted, okay? Because remember, it told you here, free yourself, okay? Now we have a lock and key being destroyed. You need to free yourself, all right? Free up your energy. Open up the gates to different possibilities, okay? It's telling you to break out, okay? With the potion of choice and free will, you need to break out and explore the other realms of possibilities in your love life, okay? Like you were feeling trapped in some sort of way. But it's letting you know that when you find self-discovery, when you start to find your inner glow, find what's beautiful about you, what's unique about you, you start to hyphen your awareness and instead of taking things personal you start to look at things from a bird eye view a different perspective okay so it's telling you right now silence your mind and again find resolve okay so isolating yourself cutting off communication with people that don't serve you okay being slow to respond all right not being reckless all right controlling and restricting your energy Okay, there's more power in silence than it is in being loud. You got to remember that. Okay, so it's also telling you to protect yourself. Again, solitude is the key. Protect your energy. So heal yourself by aiding yourself, by being gentle with yourself. Okay, get plants or get herbs that's going to help make you feel centered and healed. Okay, aloe vera is definitely something that is great to use for the body for the skin for the hair okay it's also letting you know to connect with spirit all right ask for protection and you should receive that fulfillment like i told you before ask and you shall receive and once you start to do these things you're going to do what you're going to flow with purity feminine spirituality enlightenment illumination so it's telling you to do what tune in and look ahead of radio and what did i tell you clear audiently i was hearing frequencies i was hearing noises i was hearing different sound waves and that was letting me know that you guys got to start tapping into different music or different environments that hyphen your vibration okay you can even get some sound bowls all right look into sound bowls that might even help you all right we got four cards that came out unrevealed so it's letting you know if you're holding any secrets, okay, when it comes to expressing who you truly are, don't be afraid to express yourself. Don't be afraid to disclose the information that, that you feel is making you step into your authenticity, okay? With this disclose card, whatever secrets you have or whatever false faces you are wearing or whatever lies you use to cover up your true self, you need to start revealing your true self, okay? Now, a good herb that you could use is lavender, okay? Once you disclose who you are and you're true and honest and authentic with yourself, you will get what your heart truly desires, okay? So it's telling you that when you're holding these secrets and when you're not being honest with yourself, you're only hurting yourself with this sabotage card, okay? You need to cut away negativity. You need to break free from any self-destructing activities that you're doing, okay? If you're very harsh with your words or if you're very negative, towards people and very cutting you need to work on that all right and just know that your body your mind and spirit is sacred know your power okay know your feminine sexuality and if you're a masculine you know start to respect feminine sexuality okay so it's also saying to be careful where you are focusing your mind and body on okay so be careful with like things that are tempting and lustful okay use your wisdom to help guide you and just know that you are blessed okay so we're gonna get into the tarot what does my lovely singles need to know when it comes to their love life what does my lovely singles need to know moving forward when it comes to their love life all right moving forward what does my lovely singles need to know 
two cards come in unrevealed that hit the floor bottom of the deck is you're the magician you can create whatever outcome you want just know that you have all of the elements to get you to where you need to be all right so this is very fixed energy leo scorpio taurus aquarius all right so you could have those placements in your chart or it's it, or if you don't have these placements it's saying you could try to engulf these energies okay what fixed energy does is it helps you be more solid it helps you be more stubborn and more and more clear on what you truly want to manifest okay like being picky on where you put your energy all right and just knowing that whatever you focus your energy on you give life to so knowing that you are the creator of your reality okay wow and stand in your strength and once you start to create what you want and standing in your truth and standing in your strength and being courageous and going forward towards what you want to create and manifest in your love life, you're going to get wish fulfillment. You're going to get a steady home, an abundant relationship, okay, that fills your cups up emotionally and all different elements of your life, okay? But it's telling you at the root, you need to move away from these sleepless nights and these negative, sabotaging, self-doubting thoughts, okay? And once you do so, you're going to get the triumph and victory that you've been seeking, okay? But the choice is yours. You have free will, all right? You need to be more solid in yourself. So what we have here, the two cards that came out unrevealed, is that you are the emperor. You are the empress, okay? You're sitting in your power, so you have nothing to worry about. You can manifest your divine counterpart when you're more solid in yourself okay so just know that there's four kings in the deck there's four kings in the tarot deck there's only one emperor so hold yourself a high regard all right once you start to love yourself and hold yourself a high regard you're going to find that wish fulfillment okay but it's letting me know here that these are coming unrevealed so you're not realizing how valuable you are you don't realize how much of a you're not realizing how valuable you are. You're not realizing how much of a blessing you are to somebody out there who's looking for you. So you just need to realize that you are the emperor or you are the empress. Okay, you could be an Aries or have some Aries placements in your chart. All right, but you have to realize that you are valuable and you are somebody's wish fulfillment out there. Okay, so again, stop losing hope. All right, so it's saying if you're passive, be more clear communicate what you want to deal with again being clear on how you're thinking okay how you're communicating how you're coming off all right that's what's going to help bring more stability into your love life okay yeah higher forms of commitment comes when you start to give and take with people when you start to communicate what you want and you start to give reciprocity that's what's going to bring a lot of balance into your life could be dealing with a taurus or have taurus placements in your chart all right I see that you're going through some type of hardship again with that winter card that came out you could be feeling like somebody left you out in the cold somebody might have drained your pocket somebody here was taken from you okay somebody here was messing with your self-esteem somebody also made you feel very unstable okay you felt like somebody freezed you out but again it's saying look at all of this abundant energy that's around you in your frequency with this king of swords you need to cut it out like you need to stop thinking about all of this you need to stop thinking about all this craziness here and you need to put your energy on what you want to manifest okay using your higher intuition 11 11 there's a gateway here with the four of wands there's a there's a gateway with the way you're thinking think positive think of what you want to materialize think of what you feel passionately pulled towards all right because that's what's going to help you step into your power and get that wish fulfillment that you seek. So I hope this was helpful for my lovely singles out there. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment and hit the bell notification down below. So you can get notified from when I post new videos. I'm going to move into my collective who are involved, lightly involved, or in a relationship. So let's do that now. Thank you again. So this is for my lovely collective who are in a relationship, lightly involved, or involved in some type of partnership. Okay, energetically, what do you guys need to know moving forward in this relationship? And like I told you guys before, clear audiently, I was hearing...
being open to receiving advice from your partner. That's what's going to help benefit your relationship. All right. So, yeah. One card came out, crossing and unrevealed. Energetically moving forward. What does my lovely collective need to know for who's in a relationship? Okay. Okay. So I see at the bottom of the deck, you could be torn on making some type of decision, all right, based off of something that you've investigated, all right? It could be something that you were dealing with from past energy, all right? I feel like you're really torn on making some type of decision, all right? So this is a thinking woman. Now, the number is 47, so that's number 11. So 11 can be something very significant to you. Yeah, it's saying clarifying this thinking woman is the journey card number two. So you could have found some type of information out that's making you feel like you want to voyage on a different journey, okay? This information brought a lot of anxiety, and it made you feel very impatient when it comes to making a decision. You're, you're very impatient because you're feeling like whatever you've discovered made you feel unappreciated, made you feel like you were not being valued, made you feel weak, all right? Definitely made you feel like you were struggling with your self-esteem and confidence, but it's letting you know that if you stay your course in this relationship, you could seek a, a victory, but right now you're not fully manifesting this right now because you feel like there's some type of instability, okay? All right, so there's some type of instability when it comes to the home, when it comes to the relationship that you're in. So it's telling you to use your intuition and see past this deception, all right? Because whatever this deception that was in your energy, I see that this person is being more honest because the seat came out in reverse. So this person could be more honest, but right now you feel imbalanced, okay? And you guys could be communicating very hostile about some type of financial constraints. But it's letting you know that you're coming out of financial constraints if that's what you guys are dealing with. All right. But it's saying, you know, you guys got to find balance in whatever contracts or agreements that you guys have. All right. That's just the bottom of the deck. Let's get into the reading. Okay. I see right now you and your partner could be feeling kind of distant from one another you guys could be living under the same roof however you feel like the romance is not there right now okay you're also feeling like there's other places that they're putting their energy into okay because i see adjacent possibilities coming out in reverse so you could also be feeling like you're not able to step into exploring different aspects of yourself or different um realms of possibilities because of this person because of this romance you could be feeling like you're feeling blocked from something all right so you're trying to use your inner guidance system to help give you some guidance now unrevealed there's a lot of things unrevealed so i feel like you guys are not communicating how you guys are really feeling about one another crossing energy we have the door to spirit yeah you're trying to use your intuition and your higher guidance system to give you some type of guidance some type of clarity Hence the fact that you're watching this video. I see that you're trying to seek some type of spiritual guidance. So here we're going to go. This is your advice, okay? Advice-wise, letting you know right here that you need to walk away from... You need to walk away from things that are making you feel this broken heart energy. You need to heal, okay? If you're going to work it out with this partner, you need to walk away from dwelling on their flaws okay you need to walk away from feeling trapped okay if you feel like you're with somebody who is too controlling or who is bringing toxic energy to you then you know so be it but if this is a relationship worth working on it's saying that you know i do see that this person cares about you i do see that this person does have gentle feelings towards you and does love you all right but it's just saying you need to work on healing you need to walk away from this broken heart energy i see that this is coming out in reverse so i see that you could be walking away from this you could be trying to move forward with this individual you could be trying to express some type of love or this could be something that you're feeling like you want to express to your partner like look i just want to move forward from 
whatever issues we had in the past and I just want to make it right. I just want to show you that I love you and I'm willing to put in the work and the effort to heal this relationship, okay? You know, I know that I caused some type of conflict. I know that I caused some type of hurt or I know that I haven't been really honest with you or whatnot, but it's letting you know that this person is willing to heal with you, okay? This person is willing to put the work in, but I just feel like you guys have no direction, all right? So I'm going to give you that clarity right now. What advice moving forward should my lovely couples be doing right now? Okay, yeah, saying trusting the process with your temple path, okay? I see that with this temple path card coming in reverse, you're feeling like you're off course, but it's saying you guys need to be more clear on what you guys want to do. So setting up a blueprint for you guys to follow is what's going to help you guys stay on that temple path, okay? And it's going to help you guys be more solid and more stable. All right, what's some advice moving forward for my lovely couples? Okay, yeah, so I feel like you guys are not feeling like you're on your temple path, meaning you're not feeling very grounded in your relationship because you're not expressing your love towards one another. But it's saying that you guys have a caring connection. It just, you guys really just need to heal whatever you guys haven't been communicating emotionally, all right? And also it could be finances. It could be feeling like, you're off track. It could be you're off track on bills or something with your finance or something or something physical. All right. It's saying that you guys need to work on communicating with one another on what you guys want so that you guys can manifest to materialize that as an outcome. All right. So what does my romance angels have to say for my lovely couples? Okay. Moving forward. What advice does my lovely couples need to know love wise? Yeah, call in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmation, visualization will help bring you guys together. So if you guys, like I said, you guys could be living under the same roof. You guys could be seeing each other all the time. But it's saying you guys have to start visualizing and speaking life into one another. And you guys will start to come together and have a more solid foundation. All right. Oh, one card came out in the middle of the deck. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So like I said, no matter what the betrayal is, if you guys are still in this together, it is worth healing. It is worth working through it, all right? As long as you both are very clear on what you want, okay? It can't just be one person feeling like they're in a relationship and the other person is doing their own thing. It's a union between two people. It's a group effort, okay? It's not just one. It's the other two, okay? Hence the fact that we got 11. We had 11 come up twice, okay? And then we got the number two. So that's 222, two, two, all right? Meaning the builder number, master builder number. If you're not familiar of angel numbers, please feel free to check out the videos I have on my channel, okay? Here we go. We have... Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So loving yourself is going to be key when it comes to being in this romantic partnership with somebody. How do you expect anybody to love you if you don't even love yourself? All right. Now we have two cards that fell out on my lap. We have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So this person that you're listening to this reading for it could be somebody that you know you've seen in crossing or if you you've crossed paths with and you didn't even take a double look because you weren't attracted to them or this person could be a lot different from what you're used to all right maybe as you get to know this person you're realizing how different you guys are but it's letting you know that you have to keep an open mind to understanding your partner like i said when I was hearing clear audiently, taking that advice from somebody, being open and receptive to hearing this person out, you know, being open to what this person has to bring to the table. It may be a lot more than what you expected, all right? So we have children, okay? Your love life is being affected by children. So you could also be feeling, if you have kids, like, you could be feeling like romantically you guys are not as sexually expressive because you know you guys have kids or it could be that you know you guys are worried 
or feeling off course because you just found out you're pregnant, okay? It could be a pregnancy announcement. Let that apply to whoever that's supposed to, okay? It could be a betrayal in the past where you found out that there is a child born outside of you and this person. I don't know your situation. I don't know your life. But just saying, children is a factor in this relationship. And at the bottom of the deck here, we have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Again, partnership. Not not a fabricated partnership a partnership where this person is present this person is working on themselves and working towards something solid not an imaginary relationship it's a relationship that you know that this person is definitely certain about you okay that you both are willing to put in the same amount of effort okay not that you're asking for this person for the bare minimum this person is giving you the love that you are giving to them because you love yourself first, right? All right, I got to just be very clear on these messages because I'm talking to a lot of different people. All right, moving forward. What does my lovely couples need to know at this time? What does my lovely couples need to know at this time? If any challenges come up too, this will be including any challenges as well. All right. Advice and challenges is what we're looking, is what we're focusing on moving forward. What does my lovely couple need to know? All right. Now I see that you guys are definitely into one another equally, okay? I see that you both are definitely interested in one another equally, all right? Because of the way that I was shuffling these this cards, it came up very beautifully. All right, so... Your challenges is the toxic ties or the toxic bonds. This person could have had some type of addiction of some sort. That is your challenge. At the bottom of the deck, we got bonds, all right? So finding balance after having some type of addiction or some type of information where you found out that there is some type of third-party situation, rather that's with another person or third-party influence. It could be drugs, supplement abuse, alcoholism, partying too much, whatever somebody was overindulging in, you're trying to find balance, okay? Yeah. You feel like this person needs to do some shadow work. Yeah, this person does, all right? This person needs to work on themselves because this person had you in a state of grief. But it's saying that you guys are going to be able to reinvent this relationship after being in a place where you felt you were abandoned. So it's saying that if you guys are going to work on it, you got to release this energy, you got to release fear, okay? There's a scripture that's coming to mind I don't want to butcher it, but it says, you know, true love has no fear because fear brings torment, okay? So, so I'm going to, I don't know, I'm not great with scriptures, but I remember that was one of my favorite scriptures. I, I'll leave it down. I believe that's 418. I don't know if that's right or not, but... I will leave that scripture down below. If you're going to love somebody, you got to release fear. You got to release the toxic energy that is in the past. And that's what's going to bring a lot more balance into your relationship. But we all have free will, okay? You have to know that if this person is sticking with you, if this person is showing up every day and they're giving you their best and you're giving them your best in return, you guys will have a solid union, okay? And this is going to happen after you took some time to yourself, okay? After you felt like you were going towards a new direction and ascending yourself, okay? Now, if this person is not coming and being present and showing you that they're willing to put in the effort, you need to have a new direction and step into some type of solitude, all right? But it's letting me know that you guys are going to ascend in a commitment once you start to work on this inner darkness, this dark night of the soul, okay? Because if you don't do this inner work, okay, if you don't do this shadow work, these karmic patterns are just going to keep on returning, okay? So it's saying become the author of your life and create whatever outcome you want and never settle, okay? And close out things that don't serve you. If this person is involving you in some type of third party and you've been a victim to a third party, it's just letting you know that like this past energy that you're being numb to is going to be the cause of destruction of the relationship. If you feel like that's what's burdening you, you know, this third party situation, that's what's going to make you feel like you guys can't have a physical relationship with one another. I see that this person here that you're dealing with, you know, I see that you're dwelling in the past when it comes to a third party situation. You felt like this person was very reckless and destructive. 
all right? But it's saying that this person has released these burdens, okay? And yes, this person is focusing on their money. So it could have been like a, a work romance or some type of romance that involved the material world, okay? So it's saying that, you know, it's something that you definitely found out. Could have been a person, like an individual, this third party card that came out. It's saying that your partner does regret this energy or you are regretting this energy if you put your partner through this. And it's time for you guys to heal and learn from those lessons, okay? I see that there's some type of offering coming up. It could be that this person offered you some type of emotional commitment or some type of emotional offering in the fall, all right? And it's and, it's, and they're coming forward with compromise or willing to compromise or willing to work on themselves, all right? So it's saying right now, you know, you are having a hard time with changing with with this metamorphosis coming in reverse the soulmate coming in reverse and this received coming in reverse so i see right now your biggest challenge is trying to learn from your lessons that you receive from a karmic all right so spirit is saying be very clear and be very open and receptive to knowing how to decipher between a soulmate and a karmic all right we have different people that come in our lives to teach us different lessons okay once you start to know what's the difference between a karmic somebody here who's who is sent on your path to teach you a life lesson opposed to somebody here who is willing to put in the effort and be solid and give you the committed relationship you deserve then it's going to help you with identifying who you should indulge your energy into okay all right so that's what you need to know. You know, your challenge is learning how to identify the difference between a soulmate and a karmic and learn how to appreciate a soulmate when they come into your life and they try to love you. You know, we have motion for the naked truth, conquer, unite, triumph, retreat, journey. We got journey coming up twice now in the reading. It's time for you to have triumph and unity in your relationship. It's time for you guys to unite. It's time for you guys to come together. All right? Yeah. With this motion card, it's telling you to use your drive, plan and campaign what you want to manifest. Check out that video that I have on my channel called The Power of Writing Out Your Goals. That will help you, okay, take motions towards what you feel you have been put on this earth to accomplish with one another, okay? This is what's going to help you guys conquer your relationship and find a victory, all right? When you start to continue to persevere through all of your struggles with courage, all right? It's telling you to unite with one another, become a unity, be willing to fight for one another, fight for the love that you know you guys deserve, okay? Triumph, have some self-belief, believe in one another, have trust in one another, Okay, paying attention to the red flags, paying attention to the signals that your partner gives you, being open and receptive to learning and listening to them, all right? We have retreat, so learning how to recover, how to recover one another, how to heal one another, identify, you know, the hazards, understand each other's boundaries and respect them, okay? Burn and destroy anything that you feel is going to be harmful to the relationship, okay? Keeping each other in mind, we got the journey card coming out twice, and two different decks here so it's letting you know that you need to start you need to start communicating with the spiritual realm cutting away and discarding old negative thought patterns okay learning how to meditate okay the power of meditation okay I also have a video on my page that is called how to level up so check that video out too because I talk about the power of meditation and healing yourself okay finding some spiritual guidance by exploring new realms of possibilities and having some new experiences okay so traveling with one another or you know making final decisions from a more spiritual aspect okay starting to figure out what you feel is going to serve your relationship emotionally okay and then at the bottom of the deck we have adrift 
So the potion is visualize, visualize things through your imagination. If you can imagine it, you can definitely manifest it because you can see it in your mind, okay? So again, traveling with this map and destinations, and then we have the compass as well, so direction. So following your inner guidance system, if it's telling you to move or if it's telling you to relocate, like listen to that inner voice and that inner guidance system, okay? If it's telling you that you guys will do better in a different location, do so. If it's going to help heal your relationship, do what you feel is going to help heal you, all right? What's going to help serve you in your highest good, all right? So we're going to get into the tarot, see if there's any messages that will help my lovely collective who was in a relationship any other love messages from a lovely collective who is in a relationship moving forward you know what i'm gonna do something different what does your partner want to communicate with you all right what does your partner want to communicate with you moving forward what does your partner want to communicate with you and what do you want to communicate with your partner what does their partner want to communicate with you yeah, your partner wants to communicate how they feel like they dodged a bullet when it came to not losing you, okay? They're happy that they still have you here, and they're happy that you're able to see them clearly. They want to communicate that they're not willing to let this relationship end, okay? And even though you guys are not in the most happiest state, they still are willing to work through this relationship with you. You got two tens here, so I see a cycle has closed. They're willing to come out and express how they feel with passion and love okay they want to see a victory with you they want to see you sitting proud and confident in this relationship and knowing that this relationship is going to work all right yeah they feel like they want this to work after they left you out in the cold or after you guys had some type of financial constraints or after you guys had some type of argument of some sort or some type of conflict yeah they want to let you know that they're willing to move past this they're willing to move past this and they want something so much more, okay? Yeah, look, we have a couple here. We have the king and the queen. So this person definitely is your divine counterpart. They're tired of arguing with you. They're tired of you having your defenses up and they just want to be more emotionally open and available to you. They're willing to move away from, you know, hiding things from you, from being isolated from you, from you closing off to them and they're willing to have a solid relationship a solid foundation and they're willing to express their truths after being in a meditative state or after you pulling your energy away from them they're, they just want to find justice and they want to start fresh they want to start a new beginning wow that's emotionally fulfilling okay a cup that floweth over okay we have five streams of water coming down as you can see and we have lotus flowers growing so you know Having major change after being in a dark place. Finding love after being in darkness, okay? Blossoming something beautiful from being in the mud and the darkness and being hurt, okay? They're willing to show you that they're willing to love you, okay? Okay, so what do you want to communicate with your partner? All right, moving forward, what do you want to communicate with your partner? cards fell out on the floor what do you want to communicate with your partner moving forward what do you want to communicate oh man unrevealed here one card unrevealed all right a lot of cards crossing so this is what you're dealing with right now so i see that you are at a place where you've been enlightened okay you've been enlightened to some type of information okay you're no longer being hung up on having sleepless nights all right i see that you were dealing with a lot of sleepless nights or you're coming to some type of realization that you're tired of these sleepless nights okay or being stuck in your head or having some type of insomnia and now you're willing to communicate you know how you feel okay you want to communicate you want to take the small steps to expressing what you're passionate about okay because you want higher forms of commitment and you really do want to reconcile with this person okay and you want quick results all right you want to definitely come in quickly and explain and express how you've been feeling and um, what you've been feeling intuitively all right you're willing to start fresh after some type of destruction had happened in the relationship or some type of news that has come in rather that's a job change you moving a pregnancy something happened in the relationship where you felt like your finances were jeopardized and your 
happy household was affected due to some type of toxic bonds all right but it's saying that you guys are going to have a solid relationship and, and it's saying that you know you want to communicate to this person that you just want reciprocity you want balance okay what you want to tell your partner is that you've been enlightened on what decision you want to make crossing energy here you want to choose to recover with this person okay you don't want to put an ending to this individual you want to just have a more authentic relationship where there is no illusions where you both are communicating your truths and there's no secrets you just want an honest relationship and you want to find clarity and you want justice to be had in your relationship okay that's what you want to communicate to your partner i do see that this is a work in progress but i do see that you guys are definitely going to have a solid relationship if you're both putting in the work okay so I hope this reading was helpful. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment, and hit the bell notification down below so you can get notified from when I post new videos. I look forward to connecting with you. We are divinely connected. Until next time, peace.